Hello there, my name is Shante Williams Stoner and I am excited to say this is my last class. I will be graduating from Spalding University and it has been a pleasure being here learning about investments and retirement planning and strategies. So one of the, the great things that I learned going through Stock Track was understanding the importance of having um, a mixed portfolio and one of the key questions that was asked was um when strategizing what was my process so when strategizing my selection process for the beginning of my portfolio i looked at the risks the strengths the objectives the trends and innovation so for me um being that i came from not having an understanding of stock or knowing anything about mutual funds not knowing anything about um s p 500 i went with um the stocks and mutual funds that i chose that were identifiable brands with a proven track record for me um so one of the first ones that I had picked that I put in this order from um, Stock Track Report was Twitter. So Twitter, um, from the synopsis, and I just put in the exact synopsis in my paper, Twitter generates revenue from advertising about 90% and licensing the user data that compiles the other 10%. So Twitter is a huge popular social media website that is traded on um, S&P. So when I look at the stock market, it is listed, each stock is listed at $49.11. Today's trend, it went up by 0.97%. And the, <clears throat> the day's range was from 47.96 to 49.92. So when you look at, um, looking at the the variance it went up so that's good then i went to wendy's wendy's happens to be my favorite breakfast place i don't eat beef and i don't eat pork but i love their um honey butter chicken biscuit sandwich so i said let me look into wendy's to see what they're doing so wendy's um is the second largest burger chain restaurant that they have and in 2021 they made over 11.1 billion dollars in 2021 so each share right now is twenty dollars and 17 cents and it went up today's range from 0 0.32 it went up 1.61 percent so that's another positive then I looked at Facebook, another social media website platform, and it's the world's largest online social network with approximately, according to StockTrack, 2.5 billion monthly active users. Advertising revenue represents more than 90% of the firm's total revenue with 50% coming from the U.S. You have Canada and Europe and the gross margins are above 80%. So this stock was way more expensive. So it was $205.73 per stock, and it went up by 17.59%. Amazon, I don't know who doesn't shop on Amazon. I love Amazon for anything and everything. I could put in anything from a yellow towel to one of the most exotic Michael Kors bags. Amazon has everything. So Amazon is also leading the online retailer and one of the highest grossing e-commerce. They have grossed over nine I'm sorry, $386 billion in net sales and approximately $578 billion in estimated physical, digital, online gross merchandise volume. Their stock is $2,891.93 per stock. It went up today by 4.65%. Now, Microsoft... 
everyone ha <clears throat> has Microsoft in one shape or form, and they have developed and licensed consumer and enterprise software. Of course, you know, it's known for its Windows operating systems and Office productivity suite. So their stock is $289.63, and that also went up 2.26%. Then I went with AT&T. I happen to be an AT&T wireless user, and AT&T is the largest business contributing about 40% of its revenue. The firm is the third largest US wireless carrier, connecting over 66 million postpaid and 17 million prepaid phone customers. So their stock is $24.80, and it has gone up today by 0.90%. Then I picked Nike, and I love Nike. Nike is um, the largest athletic footwear and apparel brand in the world, and they sell their stuff worldwide. So for Nike, their price per stock is $127.05. It went up today by 4.79%. So as you can see, I am going through each stock mutual fund that I purchased and telling you the variances, whether it was um, a positive outcome or if it turned out to be a negative income outcome. So for Apple, I think Apple is definitely one of the top world designers. I have an Apple phone, I have an Apple watch, and I'm just pro Apple. Um, for their stock is $163.64 and it has gone up 4.52%. Then I also put in a VS Trust, a mutual fund. I will come back to that. And then I did Walt Disney. Now I did Walt Disney because I've always wanted to go to Disney World and I haven't gone there yet. And I figured that's the happiest place, one of the happiest places in the world. So Walt Disney is huge. You're talking about theme parks. You're talking about movies. You're talking about characters. You're talking about Pixar, Marvel, Lucasfilm, ESPN Plus, the Disney Channel, ABC. I mean, it is so many. I can keep going on and on. But today, the stock price is $115.29, and it has gone up by 0.07%. Bristol Myers. Now, one of the one of the tips that I received today, I'm sorry, a few weeks ago when I first started this class was to have a better understanding as to, you know, what is it that I'm wanting to buy and get, a, you know, a better understanding of what you should be getting. So I looked into different pharmaceutical companies and one of the pharmaceutical companies that I looked into was Bristol Myers. So Bristol Myers it's called Bristol Myers Squibb Company. So Bristol Myers, they discover, develop, and market drugs for various um, therapeutic areas, such as cardiovascular, oncology, and Im immune disorders. And that definitely hit more of a personal note for me, especially that they're going and being more interactive and in doing oncology. So for Bristol and Myers, their stock price is $77.20, and it went up 1.83%. Then I went into petroleum. I know petroleum is something that is used from all over the world. So I went and purchased Occidental Petroleum Corporation. It is an independent exploration and production company with operations in the United States, Latin America, and the Middle East. At the end of 2021, the company reported 3.5 billion barrels of oil. And they had made... Um, an equivalent of 1,174,000 1, barrels of oil per day in 2021. And their stock starts at $57.03 and it's gone up 2.59%. Then we go to BlackRock Institutional Trust Company. This company is a non-diversified fund. 
the fund will invest at least 80% of its assets in the component securities of its index and in investments that have economic characteristics that are substantially identical to the component securities of its index and may invest up to 20% of its assets in certain futures options and swap contracts, cash and cash equivalents. So for this fund that is non-diversified, BlackRock, it is $105.87 and it went up by 0.54%. Then we have ProShares Trust. This investment seeks daily investments results before fees and expenses that correspond to one and a half times the performance of the S&P 500. So the index seeks to offer exposure to market validity through publicly traded future markets and is designed to measure the implied validity of the S&P 500 over 30 days in the future. So this ProShares Trust is at $16.36 per share. This was a loss, a, a huge loss. It went from negative 1.39 to negative 7.83%. So lost a little money there. Then I went into another pharmaceutical company, Royalty Pharma. It's a buyer of biopharmaceutical royalties and a founder of innovations across the biopharmaceutical industry. That was $43.55 per share. It went up from 0.56 to 1.30%. Then we have Netflix. Who doesn't like Netflix and chill? Netflix is a primary business and it's streaming video on demand service. So Netflix has anything and everything. I mean, you have Coco Melon on there too. You have bad boys on it. You have all types of shows. You have different experiences and they're even coming out with their own shows, casting their own original series, own original documentaries, your own original movies. So Netflix is $199.52 per share and it went from 5.82% uh, in the positive. Then we have Texas Instrument. Texas Instrument, now we're dealing with um, electronics. So it's based out of Dallas, generated over 90, 95% of its revenue from semiconductors and the remainder from its well-known calculators. Texas Instrument is the world's largest maker of analog chips, which are used to process real-world signals such as sound and power. Their stock is $175.85 per share, and it went up to 3.81%. It went up. It's going up. So that's a lot of positive. So I'm making some money here. Then my favorite one, Tesla. No, I do not want a Tesla, but I love the innovativeness of the Tesla. I would love a Lexus. That's what I want. So Tesla, their stock is $877.51 a share. They actually went down by 0.45%. It was founded in 2003 in California. It's a vertically integrated sustainable energy company that also aims to transition the world to electric mobility by making electric vehicles that is trend setting that's innovative so all of the things that i looked at i considered the asset allocation the budget and risk i gathered all of my information from stock track synopsis each one i was able to go into and gather all of the information so on my portfolio that I have my transactions. I currently have my portfolio value is $963,151.92. My buying power right now is $943,074.62. Within my portfolio, my rankings in the class, I believe I was six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am six. So my market value is one million two hundred and thirty-four dollars. Wait, one million two hundred thirty-four thousand eight hundred and four dollars and thirty-five cents. And my portfolio value is nine hundred and sixty-three thousand one hundred and fifty-one dollars and ninety-two cents. I've made twenty trades, and my return on investment is negative three point sixty-eight percent.
and the information and everything that I've learned during this time was um, the variety, having an understanding and a knowledge of the market, having an understanding and um, knowledge of currency, knowing what, you know, where, how much and when do I want to receive the money? Do I want to wait over time, put it in mutual funds, put it in um, investments for a longer term, or do I want a shorter term investments? So this has definitely shown me the risk and everything. So I thank you for this time. I thank you for this class. I thank you for learning and opening up my mind to new things, what's going on in the world, and the estate planning and finance. Thank you. Have a great night.